Okay, you want a website menu that doesn't suck on mobile. The problem is most of the designs out there are super basic. So I've built this new menu and it's super easy to use. Instead of small buttons, I've got four big buttons. And the best part is my thumbs can actually tap the damn thing. I built it in Elementor with just a bit of code. And don't worry, this menu won't slow down your site. Also, I'll link the full template in the pinned comment below. Okay, let's get started. First, let's set up the base of the page so we can actually create the menu on top of it. I'm just adding a clean hero section for now. But if you already have a homepage ready, you can use that too. We're going to create one main container that acts like our canvas. I'll set the height to 100VH. That means 100% of the viewport height. Or in plain English, it stretches exactly from the top of the screen to the bottom no matter what device you're on. Next, set the overflow to hidden. What this does is prevent any content like animations or slide up menus from accidentally spilling out of the screen. Now give it a Z index of two that just controls what layers sit on top of what. This main container sits below the nav toggle button, which we'll add later. And lastly, name this container main dash area. Now let's build the actual menu that's going to slide up from the bottom of the screen. To do that, I'll create a new container and set it to full width. Now let's set the height to 56 VH. That means it'll cover just over half of the screen. Now for styling, set the background to black or whatever color fits your brand. I'll also go to advanced, set the margin to zero and top padding to 25 pixels. So your buttons aren't jammed up at the top. Now this part's important. Position the container to absolute from here. That means it'll float on top of the page and you can set it to left zero and bottom zero. So it's anchored at the bottom of the screen. For now, set the Z index to something like five so we can see it clearly while editing. Later, we'll drop it to one so the toggle sits above it. Assign this the CSS class name nav menu container. Now inside that menu, we need a row to hold our navigation items. So inside the navigation container, add another container, set its direction to horizontal and remove all margin and padding. Give it the CSS class nav links. This is where all the buttons will stay. To make your first menu item, drop in another container and call it nav link. This is one button block. Inside that, add an image and this will be your icon. Link it to wherever you want it to go and give it the CSS class nav link image. Then below that, add a heading for the label like home or shop or whatever it is. I'll just style it to how I like and give it the class name nav link label. Now just duplicate this container to create your other menu options. To make sure it works well on mobile, set each menu item's width to 48%. That way, they appear side by side in a clean two column layout. And you're done. You can repeat the steps and add as many buttons as you want. Now I know what you're thinking. Okay, I've added a bunch of images, icons, and even going to add a code. Is this going to slow down my site? And that's a fair question. But remember earlier when I said I've got that covered? Here's what I always do. I use a free tool called Airlip. Just go to their site, drop in your URL, you'll see your page speed score jump up and your site will feel super smooth, especially on mobile. All right, now we need a way to actually open and close this menu. And for that, we'll use a toggle button. All right, let's build it. Start by adding a new container and set the padding to zero. Now let's give it the CSS ID nav toggle. That way we can target it later with the CSS code. Set the position to be fixed, then place it at the left 49% and bottom 30 pixels. To make it perfectly centered, go into transform settings and click on offset. Set the offset X to minus 50%. This shifts it just enough to align dead center. Now give it a Z index of five. So it sits on top of everything, including the menu. Now inside that container, drop in a button widget. This is going to be our open button. Choose an icon you like, maybe a hamburger icon or a plus icon and center it. Style it however you want, but make sure it's big enough to tap. I am setting the border radius to 50 pixels, giving it about 30 pixels padding. Now in the advanced tab, remove any default padding and set it to zero to keep the spacing clean. 
give this the CSS class open. Now let's create the close button. I'll just duplicate the same button and then change the icon. Maybe use a close button or whatever you want to use. Now let's adjust the styling so it looks slightly different and assign this the CSS class close. We'll use a bit of CSS and JavaScript in the next step to toggle between these buttons. This step is where the magic happens. We're going to add a small block of code to control the animation. Here's how to do it. First, add a container anywhere on your page and inside that, drop in an HTML widget. Now, paste the full code into that widget and if you go here and take a look, you'll see a mix of style and script tags. That's the CSS and the JS bundled together. Once it's in, publish the page and just like that, your menu is now fully interactive. You can tap the open button and the menu slides in. And when you tap the close button, the menu goes back. It's clean, fast and actually usable on mobile. If you want to try it out, just go to the pinned comment below and download the template. I'll catch you in the next video. In this three minute video, I'll show you how to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this so click here and I'll see you there.